Hello all, so much going on on the planet today. Here in the US, we have the arrest of Roger Stone, one of the big gangsters in the uh, Giuliani gangster uh, crime family in New York and the rest of the world. Huge amounts of gangsterism fighting with each other. So it, well, there's a new poll that shows that the orange man is now 67% negative poll and still has about a 30% or 29% approval rating. What does that mean? Doesn't that mean that that's how many gangsters there are left in the U.S.? About 30% of the population or so? This is unbelievable. Not only that, but the orange man told us how he was not going to become the world's policeman. And then he does a coup in Venezuela. Unbelievable what's going on on the planet. People just keep taking it. There's not one protest going on. They uh, ended the shutdown of the U.S. government, and now the government will now reopen. The only reason they did it is because it was, it was hurting the pocketbooks of the big airline business. You can't let that happen. <sighs> but that's not what we're here to talk about today. All right, having a little trouble with the camera. Doesn't want to work today on this beautiful sunny day. Can't believe this. All right, there was another study. This time, in this study, they found that the permafrost in North America, the northern half of the globe, is melting and warming up much faster than previously thought. Really? They're warning that many, many feedback loops are coming online, such as methane release and carbon dioxide release in huge quantities that weren't seen ever before. And not only that, but the very feedback loop, the CO2 feedback loop, is speeding up much faster than, than the methane uh, feedback loop. So all permafrost zones throughout the world are now warming up very quickly. There's one particular place that they're studying in uh, a lot, and that's Siberia. The permafrost is warming by 1.6 degrees F, over 30 feet below the surface. Now, they thought that the permafrost was just melting on the few, few inches to a couple feet at the most. At 30 feet? No wonder they're having huge explosions of methane all over the Siberian peninsula up there. So this warm-up only took 10 years to get it to warm up that high down to 30 feet. So can you imagine in another 10 years, what, another five, six, seven feet of warming and thawing? Unfortunately, over a quarter of the, of the land mass of the planet is permafrost. That's about 17%. Uh, this study also said that the two degrees C, to try and keep from warming past that, that's, that's way too high. We will lose most of the permafrost if we stick to that measure. It actually needs to go down from what it is today. So what is the CO2 count that we've been looking at all this week, months, and years on the Pink Barrio? January 23rd, 2018, 408.85 parts per million. January 23rd, 2019, 410.47 parts per million. As you can see, my hat was dented on my last video right here and it made it look like my head had a dent in it, but you can see there's no dent. No hair left, but there's no dent. So what can we do about this? Of course, we can do all kinds of things. I've said it over and over and over. Stop eating meat, stop driving so much, buy a pre-used vehicle, and look at who and how and what you're voting for. And what are you eating? 
The lower on the food chain, the better it is for you and the planet. There's so many things we can do, and so many people just give up. Well, they're saying that this study is a hundred year study, and they're showing that the warm up is going to happen more in the Arctic and the Antarctic than it is in the temperate and equator, the temperate regions or the equator. So, but I have to say, this has been a pretty nice warm winter here in California. For those people on the East Coast, you're going to be going into cold from now on for several years because of what the jet stream is doing and how we're splitting the northern vortex in two and causing two, global, two massive cold areas to sink, one down over the eastern part of Canada and parts of uh, the U.S. and the other part's going into Russia and Europe. So I guess this is going to be a pattern. Unfortunately, El Nino is just around the corner. It looks like it's starting to build. That couldn't be the worst news California could ever have, is another El Nino. We don't need another heat wave like we had the last one. So I am getting your comments. Unfortunately, I got several comments on my last video and didn't get to see what they were because YouTube isn't letting me see my own comments because I already commented. Once you comment, they shut off the comments from you seeing them. I don't know the purpose of that, but they must have a purpose. I definitely appreciate all your comments. It's like a, a kind of like a community here, and I do see most of them. And eventually it will let me see the comments like a week or two later so go ahead and leave all the comments you want I will see them and I appreciate all the ups and the downs and the new subscribers announcement next video possibly a live stream coming from the pink bar